Hello all and welcome to Wild Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's video I'm coming to you with first Thursday of the month, not just for January but for the year of 2022 by the way, just in case you didn't know what year it was. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Um, all right, so 2022, a very, 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 look how close I'm coming. <laughs> a very big year for us here at Well Crochet Designs for numerous reasons. And one of them, my regulars would already know, and if you are joining us new today, welcome, <laughs> um, is that we are going to be very, very close, that is, hitting the 15,000 subscriber mark here on Wow Crochet Designs very, very soon. <laughs> and they know, the regulars that is, that when we do, we do a big, big, big giveaway. <laughs> now you guys know when I do my giveaways, they're actually really big, okay? Um, and they will consist of yarn, crochet magazines, hooks, scissors, buttons, sewing needles, and I don't even know what. So I better start collecting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting very close. Um, so it is very close, guys. So get ready for that. That's definitely going to be happening this year, <laughs> for sure, all right? The other thing that we do in our first Thursday of January, I know this is not the first Thursday, and the newbies are thinking, wait a minute, is she a week late? Yes, I am a week late on the first Thursday of the month of January every year. For the simple fact that the first week is my birthday week. <laughs> so I don't do anything that week at all. Yet I did do some tutorials in that first week. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So this week we are doing first Thursday of the month today. Now let's get on with what's happening in this video. In this video, you'll hear about the 15,000 subscriber mark, which you actually have. There's nothing else to talk about it, really. <laughs> you know it's coming. When it comes, we will do the massive chat then about it, all right? Um, and also, you will hear, you kind of, you won't get an exact rundown of what's happening this year. You'll get a rough rundown. So I won't tell you everything we're going to do. I'll just tell you what's happening kind of per month if that helps. Um, just to give you an, uh, an idea of what's coming, not like we did last year where I did word from word exactly what was happening in that month, exactly, like, <laughs> exactly. Um, because sometimes things, even the best plans, often go wrong, and they did last year. Between the months of April and May last year, 2021, I was fairly ill. I had lots of teeth issues, and I was in a lot of pain, and so... Honestly, that month, those, well, actually it was a month and a half, literally those two months, if you want to put it that way, were lost. So a lot of things that we were trying to fit in, we couldn't, okay? So what I'm going to do this year is give you a rundown on what we're doing, but also leave lots of space within each month to catch up on things that we don't normally get that opportunity to catch up on. Let's talk about the month of January for a starters. We still have the lining of our um, granny square skirt. If you're not sure what that is, there's a picture there right now. Simply divine. Uh, we still have to line that. That's coming next week. We have our purple top, which that's part one sitting right there on your screen now. Simply divine again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's coming, part two, I should say, is coming next week. Everything is coming next week for what you see in January. Um, except, obviously, the mystery poncho. We did part one. There was part one. And as you know, being a mystery poncho, I can't show you the full, complete piece. So part two will definitely be coming within the next couple of weeks. Now... There will also be, I'm looking down because I've got to really look at my book. <laughs> there will also be a small project that we are doing over the next few weeks. I'm not going to tell you what that is. I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, um, I'll tell you why in a minute. Not so much talk about it. We are going to be doing uh, part two of our granny, let's start that again, of our granny square shrug. And there is the picture right now. I love this shrug. We actually did create this Mm, a year and a half ago maybe but yours truly being as clever as I am deleted it <laughs> don't you love it both parts one and two <laughs> so I went to look for it to re-upload it mm, and lo and behold I can't even find the original 
<laughs> so I'm doing the whole shrug again. <laughs> the exact same shrug. So, and the exact same colours too. Um, so there you go. Anyway, <laughs> go figure. Um, so when I said a small project in January, I should have mentioned before um, when I was talking about our 15,000 subscriber mark that this year will consist of, I'm going to call this scrap project year. It will consist of a lot of little scrap items and even some big scrap items that we're going to be creating throughout the year. Starting with our very first video this year, um, or our very first major project this year, which is the, and most of my subscribers who have already joined us would know the temperature blanket. Now, I just, I just want to get into it because, you know, we actually just put the video up part one of the video which is you know not that long ago a couple of days ago actually we actually just put that video up and if you're wondering what a temperature blanket is um, it is a something like that where you have a color key and each day you use the temperature from that color key to crochet something and we are doing tiny little squares and then we are joining them as you go for the whole year so it is a year-long project, but you don't have to do it every day. You can, let me show you so you can see it. There's a calendar. You can write all the temperatures on there and the squares are that small. So what you can do is just take two weeks and then sit in front of the TV on a Saturday night or a Sunday, depending on what day is your free day during the week and just make your 14 squares or your 28 squares or whatever it is that you've saved up to make. Now, uh, we were going to do something similar, but I thought, let's just do that. I've got something else in mind planned. What? <laughs> That's a mystery. <laughs> That's coming up in, oh, I think July, but I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> All right, so that is the month of January. And what's going to happen is um, we'll be doing so many catch-ups throughout each month that I'm not going to put too much in there now. All right, so just be weary. It'll be less in the month, but there'll be a, same, the same kind of videos, the same amount of videos, just uh, little parts of videos, not so much an hour and a half of one video or an hour and 40 minutes some of my videos went to last year. They will be cut down into parts so that you're not sitting in front of the screen for an hour and a half thinking, oh, she's still talking. <laughs> oh, and you'll probably use that language too. Here she goes again. <laughs> Hey, um, all right, so that was January. Let's talk about February. Now, Feb, oh, Feb, let's talk about Feb. It's it's a fun month, Feb. Now, I do shorten things, don't I? Now, it's a fun month. We are going to do something for Valentine's, something for St. Patrick's. We are going to start our pretty as a peacock blanket that yours truly was supposed to have been started last year and it just, went on forever um, and it's not <laughs> my by the way that was actually a giveaway blanket last year and the lady who won that was uh, Jody M we'll just call her Jody M and she's probably still waiting for the pattern to come <laughs> and it is coming Jody I do promise you um, but it's definitely coming by February so Jody you should get your pattern before February and we'll talk about how we can send that pattern to you uh, not so much via post um, oh, so by the way, guys, if you didn't know this, uh, Jodie lives overseas. So I actually, when people win prizes from us, I will ship anywhere around the world. So keep your eyes peeled for that 15,000 subscriber mark because it doesn't matter where you are, I will ship to you. So there you go. Now, that's that. Also, <laughs> uh, as we're talking about Jodie as well, last year Jodie mentioned that she was interested in the mile a minute blanket. Now, I'm not too keen on a blanket, okay? So what I thought I might do is I might do a mile of the minute table runner and then give her and yourselves, whoever is interested in mile a minute blanket, um, the amount you need to make yours longer or bigger, so to speak, and how much yarn you would need, how many stitches you would need, that kind of thing to make yours bigger, all right? So I thought I would do that in February as well. We're doing a table runner but you guys can continue doing yours as a blanket if you like. All right, there will also be a funny video coming out in February. Very exciting, guys. If you are new, you don't know this, we do funny videos um, often. Now, what funny videos do, it's, 
it's still always crochet related um, but it is actually something that gives you I don't know, reason to sit back and relax and you know you can actually sit and crochet and do your little squares if you like <laughs> for your temperature blanket um, and just crochet and just laugh at my expense I mean laugh with me <laughs> <laughs> because it's pretty much what it is I you know I'm a bit silly and do some silly stuff and it's okay you know <laughs> it breaks the monotony of the everyday boring mundane life that we you know kind of live especially now <laughs> especially these days yeah so that's happening in February the other thing that's happening in February we have done this before but we're going to do it again it is a beanie for your man okay now I've done the man beanie I've done a Father's Day beanie and we're going to do another beanie as well because we don't have a lot of um, projects on the channel for men more are coming up this year so keep your eyes peeled <laughs> watch the space yeah um, so that's what's going to happen all that's going to happen in February at some stage now if we run out of time we're just going to pass it over into March. Now March we are doing part two of our Pretty as a Peacock blanket. So in February will be part one and in March you will have part two. In March you will also have uh, a couple of stash busting projects like I said we're going to be doing that almost every month this year so get ready for that. Also we are starting and hopefully finishing <laughs> <laughs> our Easter projects in March what kind of things will they be I haven't quite decided so I better get my actor to gear and work that out okay uh, we're also doing a, um, a pot holder in March because we haven't done one of those we might actually actually you know what we might actually combine that with an Easter item let's see how we go with that right uh, there will be this is something I have not done on the channel um, and I'm going to do one and it is a clothing an item of clothing it's a top down top haven't decided what stitch I'm going to use but what is a top down top I hear you ask you work the collar the whole collar and then you work your way down to the shoulders and then you close up under the arm because when you work to the shoulders it kind of comes out that way and it comes down very long and the benefit of that is that you're not working on anyone else's measurements you're working on your own and you don't really well you do in the beginning just for your neck edge you don't really need to have proper measurements not really because once you get to a certain level it's usually a little bit further over from your shoulders you check your measurement there we'll talk about that when we do it but a top down top can also be um, turned into a, uh, a long sleeve long sleeve a long top and can also be turned into a dress so you have many opportunities to turn your little tiny top or long sleeve because it will be a long sleeve what are we in March yeah probably be a long sleeve and the reason is um, we enter into autumn around March um, and then we head off into our winter here in Australia so if you are from overseas do the top down top get it ready for your winter or your autumn because by the time you do it it'll be way into you know a few weeks or, or a month or so before your autumn so there you go get it ready get it going and get excited because I am <laughs> I'm always excited um all right so that's happening in March we will also be doing catch-ups on little things in March I won't be giving you exact dates and times for things because that's going to change yeah it things change <laughs> <laughs> things go wrong April very busy month in April we have um, we're going to be doing something for our lady in April whether or not it is a belt maybe maybe a belt we didn't do one last year we were supposed to do a belt last year oh and by the way guys everything that we didn't do last year I have transferred into this year's projects and I've put them into different months I said they'll get them into January but those are really big projects so I've just divided them into different months so everything we were supposed to do last year will be done this year so get excited for that uh, so we'll be doing a belt um, we'll be doing part two of the top down because I don't think we'll get the top down completed uh, in uh, March but you never know our pretty as a peacock blanket will come to an end in April it will be done now the reason I've spaced it out in between is because these stitches aren't just your average double crochet double crochet in the first stitch see you later off you go no 
you will have a design. There will be a little bit of fiddly design about it. So you kind of need to have technique for this blanket. When I say technique, you don't have to be like, you know, extravagant. <laughs> You don't have to be this professional crocheter, but you need to know all of the stitches like your single, your half double, your double, you know, your back loops, your front loops, your back posts. Now, if you don't know any of these, I will pop a um, playlist to these in the description box down below. And you can click on that playlist, have a practice with those stitches until we start doing our uh, Pretty as a Peacock blanket. All right, now that will come to an end in April. Get excited and sad and happy at the same time. <laughs> um, oh, and we'll be doing a crochet cowl. Uh, cowl, I know a lot of people say I sound like I'm saying cow, as in moo moo. No, I'm saying cowl. <laughs> cowl. Cowl. Um, in April, I'm not going to tell you the design. It's going to be different. It's going to be not different weird just different just not the same as everybody else's there might be something that looks similar but it's not the same so there you go uh we're also doing a coin purse if you don't know what a coin purse is uh we're actually buying the little latch for it so get yourself a little latch you they sell them in craft stores and you just turn them upside down and you work around that latch and then you uh, stitch it i think that's how it works i haven't even tried it yet <laughs> You like that? I haven't even tried it. We're going to work something out. So we're going to be doing... You like that? I haven't tried it yet. I better buy two so I can practice on one. <laughs> Don't you love it? Um, so we're doing a coin purse and we're also making a bookmark in April. Why is April busy with all these little things? And don't forget, because they're little, they're stash busting as well. Because our May... It's Mother's Day. So I um, have decided to put all that in there. Now, the other thing too is I've decided before Mother's Day and Father's Day, before um, I've actually looked around the world to see whose Mother's Day and whose Father's Day land where. Just a month before your Mother's Day or your Father's Day, roughly, roughly, um, I've tried to keep one female item and one male item in each section before that month. So I hope that makes sense. I did do a few areas around the world and checked when their Mother's Day and Father's Days are. They're, some of them are similar to ours. Some of them are different. I try to cater for most countries. Hence the word most. I couldn't cater for everybody. <laughs> but I try to cater for most, all right? So in May, we're doing something different. I don't know if it's done online before, but we're going to try it. And I'm going to call it, we actually have named it already, I've named it the Hippy Hip Band. So it's a band that goes around your hip and it's real hippie-ish. Hippy hip. <laughs> hippy hip hip. Something like that. But we're going to work around. I haven't designed it yet, so <laughs> I better get my actor to gear for that. It won't be that big, um, but it will be around your hip. So whatever your hip waist, waist, whatever your hip measurement is, just that's where you work on, right? The other thing is that that hippie hip band will have a fringe, but the fringe will not be your normal fringe. It won't just be some little threads hanging down and then you cut it at the end. No, it will be a different kind of a fringe. Now, it's kind of like, you know, chains and all sorts of, like a loop fringe. We'll work that out at the time, so don't stress. All right, um, amongst all these projects, every month there will be that first Thursday of every month. And in that video, I always give a rundown of the month. So if we are behind in one month or two weeks or four weeks, three weeks, two, whatever, I will tell you in that first Thursday of the month. And I'll let you know exactly what's happening, all right? Uh, what else is in the month of May? Oh, there's a lot there. We are doing a mystery blanket. What? What, 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 We're doing a mystery blanket and I'm not telling you what it is because we've just finished our peacock blanket in April. So we're going to start a new one in May and that blanket will take quite a few months as well. Okay, so it's not going to be finished in May. Don't get excited yet. Also in May, we're going to have some more stash busting projects. One of them, I'm not going to tell you all of them, but one of them is going to be a water bottle holder. Okay, and I've always wanted one and I'm, we're going to make one. <laughs> but there are many others in there. I'm not going to go through them all. I just wanted to go through the one that I really wanted to make. <laughs> oh, you like that? And also in the same month, we'll be doing um, part two of your mystery blanket. 
because the first part shouldn't take too long. And guess what guys, the month of June is going to be a very, very different month for Wow Crochet Designs. We are doing only two things. What? We are doing the whole month, that is, a scrap busting month. So you're going to do all these projects with scrap yarn that we have left over from our swatch blanket of 2021 and there it is is it simply divine now if you haven't made that blanket and would still like to make it i will leave the playlist to that blanket in the description box down below click on the playlist work from part one all the way up to the very very top and you can complete your blanket as well so there's so many projects you can do if you don't want to do what we're doing this year head off to last year's projects there were so many amazing things we did last year but in the meantime we're talking about the scrap busting month we're going to have in june and one other project it's a giveaway project ah. <laughs> so the item of our giveaway i'm not going to tell you what it is you'll have to wait till june to find out the idea is you need to name the project choose the yarn um and no matter what it is I tell you what it is at the time. I don't want to tell you now because it gives it too much away. Um, and then you go off on your own and you, you name it and you choose the yarn. And I send you, if you win, the yarn, the hook, the scissors, the sewing needle and the pattern. So how about that, guys? It's, uh, it's, such, it's going to be such a fun month. Let me tell you, it will be a fun month. All right. In July, the first few weeks, as you know, now... I'm going to try and say this with a smile. My regulars would know. There is a uh, an event that happens on the, the second week of July. Actually, the second weekend of July. Um, it's called the Australian Sheep and Wool Show. It happens every year <laughs> in Bendigo, which is not close to me. It's an hour and 50 minute drive, maybe, you know. Um, and I drove all the way there last year, set the table up, simply divine. I love, love, love didn't take long, took off, had something to eat, came back, had to pack it all up and come back to Melbourne <laughs> because it was cancelled at the last minute, not because of Bendigo at all, but because of us going indoors for five months. <laughs> so not only was it pulled out from under me, they closed me in for, nine, for five months and said, ha ha, take that. All right, and look, look, these things happen, and that's why I'm saying things do go wrong. But for the first two weeks of July, we're just going to be catching up on other projects. If I've caught up on them, I'll think of something to create those first two weeks of July. If we haven't, then we'll just catch up on projects. Come the third week of July, lots of fun stuff's going to happen. Now, I'll tell you why. Uh, because where I'll be is at the Australian Sheep and Wool Show for that weekend, right? And if it doesn't go ahead, we cross that bridge once we come to it, yeah? But if it does go ahead, which fingers crossed it will, I will have lots of gear uh, that I have sold there. I'll have lots of gear that I've purchased from there. Lots of fancy yarn, lots of hand dyed yarn, and lots of yarn from farmers as well, straight from the farmer themselves so get excited guys because we are going to have some gorgeous yarn and then maybe then maybe the odd giveaway I'm not saying anything until it happens because i don't trust it right now <laughs> you like that i don't trust it um <laughs> but it's it's going to be a very exciting month nonetheless so if it doesn't go ahead we're going to plan something fun here on the channel regardless of whether that goes ahead or not all right now uh within that month towards the end um we were talking about doing another c2c project but not using the same c2c stitches using something else another design well it's still on the cards and we will make something and it will happen in july it was supposed to happen last year it didn't it's going to happen this year all right now, also in July, we're making a, a headband. We're crocheting a headband. Um, and it is going to be, and the reason I'm looking at it thinking, what have I written there? It's going to match what we're making at the end of July. Now, I'm doing this a lot this year. I'm making certain things and I'll say, right, this is going to match the secret project or mystery project that we are creating at the end of the month or next month. And so you have to kind of think, oh, what would it match? Ooh, a pair of shoes, socks, 
what would it match? We'll see. All right. So we will be creating something at the end of July. It will be con it will consist of. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Let's wait till July. <laughs> well, it's a secret, yeah. It's it's a secret. All right. So that is July. We've only gotten halfway through the year, guys. Oh, I better hurry up. Uh, the rest of the year is really quick anyways. So August, we are doing a um, mystery project. Again, I can't tell you what it is because that will give it away. Um, oh, I didn't bring in the item. You know what? I didn't bring in because I've already started recording that. I didn't actually bring the item in, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this around and show you all the yarn. See all that yarn there? It will consist of all the yarn that we used during uh, the making of our swatch blanket 2021 last year. So it will consist of that kind of yarn. Get too excited. All right. So uh, obviously we have our first Thursday of the month, every month, um, which also gives you the updates on the um, temperature blanket. So keep your eyes peeled for that, guys, because that's coming. Now, uh, in August, this was something that should have been created last year. We're going to create it in August. It is the pocket shawl that I started last year, which I can't remember what hook size I used. So I'm going to take it undone. <laughs> well, I might be able to work it out. If I don't work it out, I'll take it undone and we'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there's other few little projects in there, stash busting projects in August. Like I said, the next six months are a lot easier than the last, than the first six months here. Yeah? Uh, in September, we will be doing obviously Halloween projects. Get excited! The best time of the year for me. I love, I love, love, love Halloween. And a part of those projects will consist of a blanket. So we're making a couple of blankets this year, which is why I haven't filled up the months too much. Uh, there's stash busting projects in October as well. We are making a, um, look, I did say a blanket, right? It is a blanket, but it's not your average blanket. This blanket we are creating for your pet. So if you have a cat or a dog or a snake, well, maybe not a snake, uh, but if you have a, a pet at home that you want to make a gorgeous blanket for, this is the blanket we are going to make for our pet. Oh, too exciting. And that's going to happen in October. Yep. Um, we are doing a mystery, we are starting a mystery project. Are you ready for this? I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a mystery project, obviously. I'm just going to call it. Now, I'm not even going to call it anything because that'll give it away. Let's just say it's going to be a fun project that I'm sure a lot of you will want to make. Or most of you. Or some of you. Or it may be two. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think... <laughs> you'll like that one. Maybe two people. Um, I'm thinking a lot of people will want to make this. So I left it till October to give me time to design it, to create it, to get it pattern tested, to get another pattern done. I'm doing one for myself and one for a friend. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Now, <laughs> in October, you will get the funny Halloween fun video. Now, if you don't know what that is because you're new to our channel, I'm going to pop all the funny Halloween videos in a funny Halloween video playlist. And I'm going to pop that playlist in the description box down below. Have a bit of a laugh at my, I mean, with me. I keep saying at my expense. I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> have a laugh with me and have some fun. Now, if you are crochet, really crochet related and you know a lot of the terminology, the very first Halloween video you see will, well, it's 2020's Halloween video. That one there consists of all crochet terminology. So that might happen again this year. We'll see. Something similar, not the same. Something similar using crochet terminology with a little bit of a, a kick. And also in October and the start of November, we are doing some more scrap projects. So get excited about that. In November. Yay! We love November. <laughs> we are starting Christmas gear. What? All Christmas gear throughout the month of November. Yes. Okay, that's it. All Christmas gear. We're going to spend all of November because last year we kind of got tight. 
really, really tight. We squeezed everything in November last year, uh, December last year, and it was just too late. And we missed out on making the Christmas stocking. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me put Christmas stocking in November. That will be our very first project this year. Um, so this year, if we just devote a whole month, the whole of November to Christmas, then we will definitely get our Christmas gear out. Now, in December, what did I say about December? That's right, I remember now. T-B-A. What? What's T-B-A? To be advised. Because, seriously, guys, I haven't planned December yet. Now, the reason is... Hmm, trying not to give too much away without giving too much away. Um, I know there's some exciting things happening here. For well Crochet Designs this year. And the biggest exciting thing... Fingers crossed, I'm hoping will happen in December. So I'm just going to write to be advised. If it doesn't happen, I will fill December up with projects. And just before we go, guys, I just wanted to do a quick shout out. And I'll just be real quick with it. Um, I'm only going to do one this month. There was two, but I'm going to hold her over till February for the simple fact that I don't have anyone in February. <laughs> I might, might get some more, but let's just do one for now. And the lovely lady um, that I want to talk about today is Judy at Witch Piece Craft. Now, Judy is another fellow Australian. She's actually from Queensland. Um, it, she does a lot of uh, talk about the projects that she has. She She's actually in the middle of something which I find really interesting. Um, and I thought I wrote it down because I had to really think about it. It's called a vinyl record cover project. And I'm sure that this actually does exist around the crochet community, but I've never seen it. It is a project that means that every time you crochet a granny square or a circle or whatever you're crocheting for that big annual project or weekly project or monthly project, whatever it is that you're working on, you use the cover, the front cover of an old vinyl record. Now, for those of you not old enough to know what a vinyl record is, uh, it's like a CD. And if you're not sure and still don't know what that is, just pop your USB in and think about that having a cover to it. <laughs> an album, a cover album to, I can't think of what else to do for the new generation. <laughs> But we used to have these massive vinyl records that you popped onto a little record player and you popped a little pin there and it just spun around and made music. <laughs> well, it sounds weird now that I think about it. Um, or a turntable, I think they call them. Turntable record player. Um, so she uses the front cover of the album of the artist, the singer, whoever it is. Um, it is their front cover. So on that front cover, if I think she used pink. The singer pink on that front cover whatever colors are on that color for that month you choose a color from that cover look i don't know a lot about it because i haven't really gotten into it but what a fantastic idea you choose that color yarn to create that square for the month the week the day whatever it is she's doing with it it's just an interesting project i never thought of doing it and it's pretty amazing actually I like it. Um, I know that there are other people that do something similar like that, but I've, this is the first I've seen it. <laughs> people have talked to me about it, but it's the first time I've actually seen it. So if you're interested in something like that, head over to Judy's page at, I'm sorry, let's try Judy's YouTube channel at uh, Judy at Witch Piece Craft. Um, and she is uh, relatively new to uh, YouTube and I love to give shout outs to anyone hopping on YouTube who are new. Now don't forget guys, if you are new to YouTube and you would like a shout out, please let me know because I will do that in every first Thursday of the month. I will do that shout out. So yeah, just keep that in mind guys. But that's it pretty much guys. That's all there is for our channel here at Wow Crochet Designs for the year. And one last thing, guys, I just wanted to let you know that amongst all of what we do throughout the year, occasionally we do some unusual things, some things that are on the spur of the moment, like let's take for argument's sake all this yarn you see right here. This is yarn from Tandy Farms. Now, last year we visited Tandy Farms and 
I purchased some yarn and we created the gorgeous treble berry boxy jumper that you see right here. How gorgeous is that right now? Yes, we created that jumper with the Tandy Farm yarn. Now I hadn't planned that. That's just something I wanted to do because I was there and I saw the yarn. So I just wanted to let you know that amongst all the items that you hear or you've heard me talk about today, there will be the odd occasion or the odd item that you will get that wasn't planned and that's it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all the wonderful things that you guys well pretty much already do for me don't forget to join our lives at 4 p.m wednesday afternoon and 10 a.m saturday mornings melbourne australia time that's all i want to say i've been mary this is well crochet designs and i will see you all in our tutorials and our lives ah ciao for now bye all so basic that now you can actually complete the whole side and the other two sides as well all right oh i don't even know where i am again. Oh, gosh. hello all and welcome to our crochet designs my name is mary and in today's video i'm coming to you with let's try this again <laughs> I talk too fast. Nobody can understand. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Three, two, I can't keep a straight face now. And one. Hello all and welcome to our crochet designs. My name is Mary. And in, uh, I've done it again. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial, it's not a tutorial, this <laughs> take four. <laughs> oh, three, two and <laughs> one. Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's video I'm coming to you with, and I'm saying it very fast yet again, three, two and one.